and I believe I ended set two. Okay. Moving on. The next one involves a burpee. And a burpee, you jump. You crash down, you jump out, you jump in, and you jump up. Okay, just like that. Now, if you need to modify, there's many things you can do. You can crouch down, you can step out, step in and up, or you can simply just omit the burpee and lunge or squat instead. Now, when you get out of your burpee, you're going to do a wood chop. In a wood chop, you take your weight, you cross your body here, and then back down, okay? So, change sides every time we do the burpee. You're gonna, you're gonna lift your weight up. So if I burpee down, I'm gonna take my weight, swing here, okay? I'm gonna go right into my burpee again. Ready? I'm gonna do it to the side again so you can watch. Here we go. Excellent court work. Okay, the weight's gonna come down. You can do a single arm row, alternating sides. So you're gonna row the weight up and up. If you need to go on your knees, you can, or you can also stand and bend over and do the row. About, about the modification, you can check. I'm going to attach modification sheet to the workout so you'll know. You can check. Okay, ready? Burpee and we're going to wood chop the other way. So I'll do my burpee this way this time so you can see. your burpee. Of the rose. 
and I believe that's the end of this set. Yep, grab a quick sip and then we're gonna continue. If you need extra support for your table like I do, you can grab your thick mat or your blanket and set it down on the floor. We are gonna do some abdominal work um, and we're gonna offset it with a little cardio jump. So, next work, next set. Thank you, but look at my lovely assistant. Why, thank you, sir. Um, may, I, may I lay down? Yeah, thank you. Okay. It's okay if you're not in your footy pajamas. We will excuse it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Maybe next time you can join us. Um, okay, so you're going to take yourself on the mat. I need to get a, a set up here. You could, that's too heavy for you. Go get your weight. So, you're going to take your weight or whatever you're using in two hands here. And you're going to take your legs up. Now, those of you who work out with me all the time are very familiar with this one. I'm trying to keep it simple. I don't want to introduce a bunch of new stuff without being there to watch your form. So, forgive me if this all looks familiar. Um, just, you know, suck it up and do it. <laughs> so, you're going to keep your head down for this one. Um, and your arms are going to go over your head, and you're going to lower your legs, and then you're going to cross two, three, four, and then lift back up. In fact, start cross. That way, when you go down and up, you don't have to waste time on crossing. And then come up, and then switch down. Okay? So, and then the other exercise you're going to do, you're going to flip over, and you're going to jump to the sides. So you're going to jump in, out. So you might just need to scooch this, and you're going to jump. You're going to start center and you're going to go out to the side center, out to the side center. Think of making a triangle. Okay, so let's get started. Enough chit chat. Okay, so you're starting up here with crisscross. I've got to start the timer. Here we go. Down and. And think of supporting your back with your abdominals. Do, do not go any lower than you feel you can. Okay, that was the deep, so we're coming up, quickly flipping over, doing our triangle jump, starting crouch in the middle, and you're going to jump side, center, side, center. And you can do any rhythm that you want. You can also stand up and jump side to side, like a ski jump if you prefer. On your back. Here we go. Make sure you're breathing. You want that exhale to help you come up. And back to the triangle. 